Hey, Egg Teacher Thoughts here coming at you with another video. I am inside the exhibit hall at the Laytow County Fair and I'm trying to be really quiet because I don't want to disturb people hiding in a corner. Um, but I'm going to take you through a tour of some of the exhibits here and show you some of the stuff that for me is really the fun part of fair. I mean, I love the animals. Absolutely love the animals. But, you know, with me being a greenhouse guy and you know, a plant guy. This is really where I kind of nerd out. So I'm kind of hidden in the corner right now. We're going to go look at the flower arrangements around the corner. So, hey, come with me. Let's go. Here we go. We've got some nice examples of some plants here. There's a little shamrock there. And then we're coming into some of our designs. Ooh, a little bit of nice use of some curly dock there. Uh, some horseweed back here. We've got some mums. Oh, and this is broom corn. There's broom corn right there. That's a cool one. Some black eyed Susans, some lavender. Got wheat and status. Can't remember some of those. Looks like we've got uh, some mixed herbs in here. Kind of a fall arrangement. That's a pretty cool one. Uh, this is a euphorbia. So this is in the same family as uh, poinsettias. So um, this is one of those things that if you go through and you prune it, you don't want to get the sap on your skin or in your eyes um, because it is a toxic sap, but it's a very pretty plant. Oh, purple coneflower. So that, uh, if you uh, had uh, echinacea, so if you took echinacea pills for when you were ill, uh, that would be that one right there. A little bit of celosia back there. This is a garden phlox. So this is an upright version of a phlox rather than a creeping phlox. More status in there. Some sunflowers and zinnias. Queen Anne's lace right right there. Queen Anne's lace right there. These are these are the these are the zinnias. Or no, that's cosmos. That's the zinnia. Ah, uh, Threadleaf Coreopsis with some Inca Marigolds. Oh, and look at, look, at, look at that. Look at this neat usage here. So what we have in here um, is we have... Um, oh, oh it's, it's, it's which is something. Uh, but if you have like crab grass or quack grass, uh, that is the quack grass. And there's another name for it. I can't remember off, but I recognize it. And there is some sage here and some kale. And this is a salvia. Well, we're getting into the dahlias. I used to live in an area where they had Swan Island dahlias. And there were hundreds and hundreds of varieties of dahlias. Beautiful gladiola in there. Lots of dahlias. Oh, this one right here. That's a sneaky one. That would be scabiosa. And then there's more celosia there. Let's see what we have over here on this side. Yes. This guy wanted to know why he didn't do it. All right. And look at all, look at all of these dahlias. There's just lots and lots of dahlias. Oh, we have some petunias. Got to have a spray of petunias in there. There they are. And we've got some geraniums here. Uh, this is from an ivy geranium. This is going to be from a uh, cutting geranium. Some marigolds, snapdragons, there's snapdragons in the back, there's cosmos up here. These are your Inca marigolds, more zinnias, here's a bunch of sunflowers. Sunflowers grow great here. Oh, this is coreopsis, this would be sunray coreopsis. And then we've got some hosta down in here, some little leaves of hosta. That is most likely Corsa Regal, I believe, is that variety name, and that is going to be, um, I believe that's from the Abiqua breeder who did like Abiqua Moonbeam and Abiqua Recluse. Ah, yes. For those of you that are into the nightshade family, here is another one right here. This is Nicotiana, otherwise known as Flowering Tobacco. And then this is a native plant for us up here in this area. This is Gallardia, otherwise known as Blanket Flower. And we've got some more Rutabecchia. And we have some more Coneflower. A little bit more Rutabecchia. 
This is what your garden phlox looks like. So it's on a tall spike like that. And of course, then we get into our roses. Not a lot of roses this year, which is interesting. There's a dried flower arrangement. And then a nice uh, bouquet of all yellow. It's a very, very well put together. Nice, nice to have just the different tones of yellow in there. Got some straw flower. This is straw flower there. A bunch of different types of straw flower. And then of course, you know, you've got to have your eucalyptus. So lots of eucalyptus with mums and carnations. Ah, there we go. That's made in the mist. So really pretty flower, but the seed pods are also really neat. So you can see on the seed pod right down here, it actually has a burgundy color to it when it dries out. And they have a little black seed that's kind of like the size of rock salt. Very interesting flower. So this would be a type of decorative amaranth. And there is some millet there. And this would be goldenrod with a Gerber daisy and some more mums. Let's move over to this side over here. We'll go the, we'll go the long way. And there's a Rex begonia. And a wandering Jew. Say elephant's foot. I, th I think I've heard that called pregnant onion before. And then here's a jade plant. Beautiful variegated jade. Another Rex begonia. And this is where you have to ask that question. Is it an Easter cactus or is it a Thanksgiving cactus? Another jade. Another cactus. There's a nice coleus. And a sweet Boston fern. Some more little zinnias down here. Oh, Non-stop tuberous begonias. There we go. Some Asiatic lilies. Then into the gladiolas. I think those are open a little bit for gladiolas for a show. And we have more dahlias. Lots of really pretty dahlias. There is a salvia. That's an older variety of salvia. That's one that uh, really became popular in the mid 90s. This particular salvia was really, really popular and you would pair it with Inca marigolds and just about every Burger King you went to had that red salvia and Inca marigolds all through the mid 90s. And there's a scented geranium. And then we have a sprig of a cutting geranium down here. And there's French marigolds. Sometimes you'd see those, those two partnered together. They do, they do make a stunning pair. They grow really well. They both handle the same conditions. Uh, and here's the Inca marigolds. So you see that bright yellow? Put it with that bright red. Great combination there. Got some sage, some parsley, cosmos. Another couple of sprigs of petunias. Well, that's a pretty nice petunia. That's a really large petunia blossom. Seems to be more of an upright variety, which is, which is kind of interesting. More zinnias. There's a whole bunch of sunflowers. And then we get into some hosta leaves. So this should be some in substance. Uh, that should be Abiqua moon beam. That should be, I think that's probably Big Daddy. And this looks like a sport of Patriot. But yeah, we used to raise those. Oh, that would be Summon Substance right there. That's definitely 100% Summon Substance. And then we have some sedum down here. There is Dianthus. Can't miss the Dianthus. 
or snapdragons. And that is from a coral bell. And that is a calla lily. It's a really tall stalk of calla lily. Some more goldenrod. Finish it off with some asters and some flocks. And then, of course, the roses. So there you go. There's a tour of the plants that are here for the uh, the uh, the floriculture show here at the Latah County Fair. So this is where they invite uh, community members uh, to come in and uh, bring some of their pieces of their garden to show off uh, and compare them to with a, what, a, what a standard would be uh, for plants such as that. Um, as you might have noticed with <laughs> me just rattling off the names of everything, uh, most of the varieties there I'm very familiar with. Uh, you know, you, you put 40 years in, in the nursery industry and there's not much that you haven't seen. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that tour. I think we're going to pause this one here and then we're going to go take a tour of all the vegetables in the other room. Hope you're enjoying, hope you're learning something. Ag Teacher Thoughts out.